So this video is all about troubleshooting Bluetooth issues on your Android device. And these steps can actually work on any Android device having Bluetooth problems. So let the download begin. So if you're finding the channel for the first time on this channel, we do support videos that teach you how to use the devices you have and also how to troubleshoot some of the biggest issues those devices may experience. If you enjoy videos like that, don't forget to share your thoughts, comments, and any questions you have in the comment section below the video. Drop us a like and also subscribe to the channel and also share the video out. You never know who it will help. Let's get started with troubleshooting your Bluetooth issue on your Android device. So when it comes right down to it, having some Bluetooth connectivity issues is well known nowadays. We have a lot of different Bluetooth devices and with phones now continuously getting rid of that headphone jack, you have more and more headphones and other devices connecting to your phone via Bluetooth. So if you're having some issues where those devices are dropping off or your Bluetooth is just not as stable or as readily available as you would like it to, these are some of the steps that you can actually take if you're having any issues. So we're going to start off with probably one of the easiest and probably one of the least technical ways to troubleshoot it is just simply turning the Bluetooth off and turning it back on. And with Android devices that can be in different areas. So on the majority of Android devices, in order to toggle your Bluetooth on and off, you simply just have to swipe down from the top and then you're going to have your Bluetooth settings there. And that's probably the easiest way to just turn off Bluetooth wait a couple of seconds turn it back on it's going to try to detect all the devices that were previously detected all the devices that were connected and possibly the device that you're having the issue with go ahead and look for it on that list try to get it reconnected see if that works so the next thing you can actually try is making sure that you're ruling out that it's not necessarily an issue with your phone or tablet or anything that's running Android. It could be an issue with the device that you're trying to connect to that Android phone or tablet itself. I don't know how many times I've had countless people have issues with a device that they thought was the problem was with their phone, but the problem was actually either with the Bluetooth set of headphones or other Bluetooth device, watch, smartwatch, whatever, that they're trying to connect to their phone themselves. Remember, those are Bluetooth devices as well, and the problem can stem from there. So you can try connecting that device to another phone or another tablet. Try to make sure that you're not experiencing the same issue when you connect it to a separate device. That's really the easiest way to check if that device itself is having the problem or if the phone that you currently have is having the issue. The other step you can take is restarting both devices. So normally, if you have like a set of headphones or again, a smartwatch. You want to make sure that both devices are being restarted at the same time. Just power off your phone, go ahead and restart that completely, and then power off that device as well, restart it, boot it back up, and see if those connections are then made and if those connections are stable. Sometimes simply resetting both devices can really go a long way in troubleshooting and helping you fix that issue. And you can also just try unpairing that device. So removing it from your Bluetooth list and also just removing any older devices from your Bluetooth list as well. So with the Bluetooth menu, in order to check the paired devices that you have, you just swipe down from the top to get to your quick settings and then you see your Bluetooth option here. But this time if you press and hold it, you're gonna go into a menu that's going to show all the Bluetooth devices that are currently paired or have been paired to this particular device. Now, what you want to do is you can find either the device that you're having the issue with and remove it, or you can find some of the older devices that are there that can, can be causing an issue and remove those as well. And you're just going to hit that little cog right next to it, and you're going to have that unpaired option there. So if you just hit that unpaired option, it's going to automatically unpair that device from your Android device, and then you can go ahead and try to repair the device that you're having the issue with. Uh, I know a lot of the times we pair devices, we get rid of devices, we trade in devices, but we leave those paired devices on your Bluetooth list. That list can become congested. That can cause some issues. Um, so simply removing the older Bluetooth devices that are paired to your phone and also repairing the device that you're currently having an issue with can go a long way in fixing some of those problems. So then you want to go in and clear the cache in your Android device itself. And clearing the cache of your Bluetooth in your smartphone can go a long way in fixing a lot of connectivity issues. And it actually is 
more of an advanced step that you can take, but it is a really great step you can take to kind of fix that problem. Now, in order to clear your Bluetooth cache and data, what you're going to do is you're going to swipe down and you're going to go into your setting. Now, from the settings, you're going to scroll all the way and you're going to be looking for application. So when you're in applications, you're going to look for the advanced settings and applications, and then you're going to hit show system apps. So wherever the show systems apps options is in your Android phone, and that's where you want to head over to. And in those system apps, you're going to scroll through and you're looking for anything that says Bluetooth. You may find more than one. So don't be afraid if you see a couple. So right now I have three Bluetooth options here. So what you want to do is you want to go in and clear the cache on each of those Bluetooth options. So if you select it and you go to storage, you're going to have the cleared cache option there. So clearing this option, it's not going to completely erase your Bluetooth devices that are stored. It's just clearing the stored cache memory so it can recache that information once it reconnects to the devices that you currently have. Clearing the cache is an awesome, awesome advanced troubleshooting step you can take. Making sure the software is updated on both devices is definitely a big step you can take. A lot of the times, many people have these issues and report them to the companies that are in charge of updating these devices. Um, you may think that your issue is just happening to you, but it could be happening to thousands of people. The companies then roll in fixes into these software patches and updates and they roll them out to these devices. So if your device is behind a patch or two, there may be a fix in these patches that have already been deployed that you're just not taking advantage of. So make sure that your software on both devices is updated as possible. And of course, factory resetting your device, the kill switch, the nuclear option. Um, if you're having an issue still with your Bluetooth after taking all of these steps, resetting your Android device, just doing a complete wipe, a complete factory reset. You want to make sure you back up your data first. That's always the very most important thing that you can do before you reset anything but resetting your Android device is probably that one step that you can take that's going to fix any issue that you have because it's getting that Android device back to its core base nothing installed nothing that could be causing this issue is installed on devices the bare bones the Android operating system itself if your device isn't having some kind of hardware issue then updating or resetting the device completely will fix any problems you have. So that's just a couple of quick tips that you can take to troubleshoot any kind of Bluetooth issues you're having with your Android phone or tablet. If you're still having any issues after taking all these steps, or if you have any questions about troubleshooting Bluetooth issues on your Android device, go ahead and share those thoughts and questions in the comment section below this video. We'd be more than happy to answer any questions that you guys may have and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel drop us a like and also share the video out you never know who's having some issues that this video may be able to help them with again guys thank you so much for checking out the video and until next time peace